Hello everyone, I'm Tanishka and today I'll be showing you how can I make a quiz in Code to Play. So here you need to start a project and you can name it as quiz. So I name it as quiz 1, 2, 3, 4 or anything. So I just want to name it as quiz 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So what this will be basically is you'll have a screen here like yeah. So you'll have five sections here and one here, okay? That's totally five sections itself. And let's start building the app. So first you need to drag and drop a label, a button. Rename the label as quiz. And then increase the size or maybe the width okay so the font size you need to specify something so let it be the same thing I'll just change the width to fill parent the height to 100 pixels the quiz this as 30 or even I'll make it as 100 so that it looks cool okay and then I'm gonna align it in the center change the background color and then name the button as let's rename the button as start change the background color okay so I'll also increase the font size maybe to 20 okay and then this was the screen one and then you add another screen and let the name stay as screen to itself so that we don't have any confusion you can also rename it it's your choice but okay we have our screen to open here here you're gonna put your first question so for that you need to drag the following things a label four buttons one below another again a label and then a button so it's got label one is going to be a question four options uh, a label for showing whether it's right or wrong or giving them instructions and then a button for next so let's change everything one by one so here the first question you need to type it so i, I will type it as 3 plus 3 equals so you can just put anything 3 plus 3 equals and you can change the size so maybe 40 okay so our question is here and you can also change various other things then you put the four options that's for renaming the options you need to go to the property section and text so i put four The next one is five. Next one is six. And the last one is seven. You can name it anything. I'm just putting any options that I wish. So the right option here is six. Okay, we'll go we'll see that later. So your label two, you need to name it. Uh, that's the text on it should be choose an answer. Okay. Then the button five is supposed to be named as next. And here, what you can do is change the color of this button or like all the buttons. So I'll make it as cayenne. And here I'm going to not make it visible. So they can't do it next until they choose the right option. And then here it's the screen 2 is also done. And then we add the add more screens to add more questions. So here I just added one question. You can also add many many more questions like 20, 30. That's your choice. So that I only added one question. Now let's go to the final page that's the final screen so here what you need is just 
a label and two buttons below them so the label should be named as and that's renamed or the text should be good job oh sorry it's supposed to be good job okay and i'll to make it more attractive i'll make it bigger height i'll make it as 50 pixels and the text size is 50 the font size text alignment center and the background color is orange okay so first button what it needs to be is play again play again then you can also change some of its properties then the second button is exit and i will also change its color to yellow you can also choose custom colors okay these were the three things you can just go through it once again a label and a button two labels and five buttons one is going to be non visible you can just change it over here in the properties place and when i again do it it goes visible okay and in the screen 3 it's going to be a label and two buttons so let's again go to screen 1 and let's begin doing the programming or the coding part so here what we're going to start up from here is you know first we need to for the screen 1 program you can if it's screen 3 or something else you can just make it screen 1 and then first you need to go to button 1 so when button 1 dot click then you need to go to control and scroll down you'll get an option as open another screen screen name and then you need to take a blank block and change it to screen 2 okay and then that was only the programming needed for screen 1 then screen 2 you go you have five buttons on it five right so first we'll begin with button 1 it's the wrong option so when button 1 dot click you need to go to label 2 set label 2 dot background color so the color of the label 2 is going to be red because it's the wrong answer and the text you need to also duplicate it this is supposed to be move to the trash and this it's not going to supposed to be background color but it's going to be text the text you need to go to another blank one and it needs to be wrong answer okay this was for button one which was, which is the wrong answer you can also duplicate it and change it to button 2 and duplicate it and make it for button 4 and for button 3 it's going to be little slightly different but still we can duplicate and change make some changes in it so button 3 okay so here you need to trash like put it in the trash and this wrong answer should be right and so Okay, background color it should be green because we usually represent a right answer with green and a wrong answer with this. And then when button three is clicked, what else should happen is the button five should be visible. So set button five. Oh, set button 5 dot visible then you need to go to logic and true so button 5 will be visible 
and then for the button fly the programming is when button fly dot click what should happen is it needs to go to another screen so again you should go here to the control open another screen screen name and the name is going to be screen 3 okay this was this much part like for the screen 2 and for the screen 3 you just have two buttons that's going to be easy so when button 1 so what our button 1 was do it again so when button 1 dot click you should go to the control open another screen let's wait another screen screen name again screen 1 should be open so that they can start again so screen 1 and when button 2 is clicked that's exit what should happen is the application should be closed that the app should be closed so it should be close application all we needed for our programming of quiz or quiz so let's again see what is it so button 1 you have this much the screen one sorry then screen 2 you have this and screen 3 you have this it depends like how many questions you want to add and then you are supposed to build it using an qr code or you can save it to your computer it depends on you so hope you liked it and you'll be interested in making such apps or games there so let's make it let's let's install it so let's wait until it's done so it's like 100% and now it closed you need not worry if it closed you'll get a qr code after a few seconds okay here i have the qr code i click on okay right now because i do not need my uh, quiz to be installed on my phone you can just scan it and install it so bye